Hey you guys, so I'm back and I'm going to try to sit outside and not be disturbed, but um, I've been wanting to do this video because um, I, I don't think I mentioned it when I talked about how I get my open visions, but with this last stream here uh, recently where I saw a person in white from, you know, to the, to the, to the, at least to the waist um and then from the bottom on they were in red um i wanted to discuss it because i've i've had that dream and i've had another dream where i saw two different blues and blues um mean if we see blue in the dream or a vision it means usually means revelation knowledge and also i've had some dreams that i've posted here um, about three ladies in white, but the Lord was, um, for the most part, directing me to um, a false sense of righteousness or, or, or um, at that time, also a false trinity and showing me some people and so on and so forth, okay? So I wanted to do a video on it because typically if you, if you see... We're supposed to test the spirits, but typically when you see somebody in all white, unless you're getting the um, the revelation or the uh, unless you're getting the revelation right then and there, um, downloaded to you by God that it's a good spirit, then you know um, you you have to question everything, especially in dreams. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about discerning of spirits. Um, <clears throat> I know I've mentioned it in my testimony testimony video, but when before I got filled with the Holy Spirit, um, I was constantly asking God to let me know who was for me and against me. And when I got filled with the Holy Spirit, that's when I got started having uh, visions. Um, I had one where I was in a trance. And then as far as uh, my open-eyed visions and prophetic dreams, I started having them, like, like automatically, like right then, um, so shortly after. So I was asking the Lord who was for me and who was against me, and he gave me the gift of discerning of spirits. And this, this discerning of spirits is, is the gift that you have to have we all need the gift but if you're doing prophecy you have to it's key discerning of spirits is key in prophecy okay you guys and um and that's how i discern my open eye visions and then you know sometimes the dreams are a little bit harder but it took years for me to be able to discern my dreams um the lord started me off spoon feeding me by giving me like dreams of po uh, olive trees and water and palm trees and colors and all that stuff I looked up through the bible and I had a bible um related dream chart okay so I just wanted to get that out the way um not to say that I'm a professional on it but I'm just letting you know uh, a little bit of background so um and also I you know that was one of the things that kept me out of the club because I start seeing spirits. And so with that being said, discerning of spirits is, and hopefully this won't be too long. It's, I got two pages here. I won't read everything. <sighs> discerning of spirits is God. God himself speaking to us by speaking to our spirit by the Holy Spirit. When evil spirits are present. Um, we don't judge the individual. But we can judge. Sorry I'm hot. But we can judge. The spirit behind. What is being manifested. Or presented as being of God. Or from God. Okay. Um. Discerning of spirits is to keep the church safe from deception. Discerning of spirits is to help the person that has uh, 
a false manifestation. You know, somebody said I saw a, a, a person all dressed in white, but I kind of felt sick up my stomach. Well, you can say as another body, uh, as another believer in the in the body, say, hey, you know, you might have seen a, a evil spirit. If you got a six, you know, because God was obviously maybe telling that person that spirit is not of me. Satan himself can transform himself as a as an angel of light. So if, if the Holy Spirit is checking you, even though this 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 manifestation, um, open vision or or closed eye vision or dream or whatever, uh, the Holy Spirit might have been telling that person, "Hey, this spirit is not of me," and and that's the uh, discerning of spirits. Okay, you guys. So. Um, other believers can help other believers to help identify uh, false manifestations, okay? It is to keep ourselves from being deceived, especially here in these last days. And it is to judge whether a prophecy or a message in tongues is from the Lord. Um, I think there's a viral video of Kenneth Copeland um, speaking in tongues after him having a video chat basically with the Pope and um, someone actually I don't have the gift of interpreting tongues but someone um, I don't know if it's true or not but somebody actually interpreted what he said and was a whole bunch of hogwash <clears throat> but the Lord will give you a check in your spirit um, it is discerning of spirits is, is also to help us uh, discernment, I should say, is also to help us know whether or not someone is in the flesh and giving forth their own opinion or soulish prophecy, if you will, coming from their own mind, or if they're obeying God and giving a real prophecy. A lot of people say, thus save the Lord, or the Lord told me to do this, or the Lord told me to say that. But the gift of discernment is going to help you whether or not to, to see if they're speaking from the flesh. Okay? And that's a, it's, it's, it's very common, sadly. Um, discernment is helpful when evil spirits are present and may... Discernment of spirits is helpful <clears throat> when there, be, there may be evil spirits when you can detect evil spirits to see if a person is in need of being set free or delivered from those uh, evil spirits in the person or, uh, you know, if they're not a believer or maybe um, they may be being tormented by evil spirits around them if they're a believer because I don't believe that you can be um, <sighs> possessed by evil spirits once you are a believer because the Holy Spirit uh, is greater but you can be oppressed in your surroundings or in you know you may be you may be tormented in your in your mind or you may have attacks so discerning the spirits is helpful when you you know the Lord like I said the Lord took me to the club I saw all these evil spirits around people it wasn't I wasn't there to do deliverance service. It was it, it was an indication that he didn't want me to be there. But, you know, it may be in a service somewhere where somebody needs to be set free. And, you know, it may be, it may be a deliverance service where someone may um, need to be delivered from the, the, the evil spirits in them so that the Lord can t come, come into them and uh, after they become a believer. The Holy Spirit can indwell them. That might be the first step. It was for me. I was after I got filled with the Holy Spirit. I automatically was delivered. Um, I don't want to get into that right now. Okay, you guys. Um, discerning the spirits is helpful when uh, when you are able to detect spirits present to disrupt services. To keep people from being saved. Uh, it's helpful in, in helping us to discern our own thoughts, beliefs, and motives. To see whether they're from God or, 
to see if they're their own our own imagination um and I guess I do two more it's important to examine the scriptures daily um, because you're going to need discernment of Saint Satan's counterfeits when he tries to introduce uh, other teachings that are foreign to scripture so that's a two part there you need to know what's in your word uh, so the Holy Spirit can bring it back to your remembrance and say uh uh no, that's not in scripture. No, that's not my word. No, that's not right. Uh, no, the revelation that person got on that is not right. That's their own interpretation. So that's two parts, you guys. And the word says to discern. Test every spirit to see whether or not they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Uh, lying spirits are also, um, you know, they say a lie, don't, don't care who tell it. <laughs> uh, lying spirits have uh, led many Christians down the wrong path and led them, to st led them uh, astray. So that's where discernment kicks in because you don't want to uh, find out that you have been led astray for many, 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 many years. But all you had to do was ask God for uh, more discernment or specifically discerning of spirits. Now, what discernment, discernment is not, it is not being suspicious of people and their motives. Um, people without the Holy Spirit have a natural instinct. You know, we call it gut feeling. So, um... You know, it may help me to, you know, you might have a gut feeling, even if you're not a believer, that this, this that a salesman is trying to uh, swindle you, try to uh, cheat you out of your money. That's not what discernment is. Discernment is from God, and it has to come through the Holy Spirit. Um, it is discernment is not the ability to criticize and fall, find fault. Um, that's what Satan does, but we are fruit inspectors. And we also, uh, like I said, it comes from God. God, God will tell you. He'll set the alarm off. Um, so it's not us just finding fault or criticizing. And it is not backbiting. If someone is teaching against the truth of God's word, then we have to warn people. If it is behind the back of the one deceiving even if it is behind the back of the one deceiving um, some people oh, you want them to hear is, let me read this if they are capable of hearing us to be corrected is not just pointing out the fault of the one deceiving or leading people astray into false doctrines or teachings so it's not backbiting some uh, you know, I don't know a mega. I don't know personally a mega pastor, but if I get a message, uh, or I, if the Lord is pointing me to, uh, warning to warn the body that this this false prophet is a you know this mega teacher is a false prophet, then I need to to warn whether I know them or not, if they have if they're able to hear us or not, and if the person is able to hear us, then they should be able to receive correction. It's not just pointing the, the finger. It's to correct them. Okay? And that's why God gives it to us. And we shouldn't boast. And we should be humbled. Um, it's not just to point the finger. It's to bring correction. And to warn. Jesus said uh, we should make righteous judgments. For the good. Of all for all concerned and uh, discerning the spirits is not bias or bias or partial and it's not spooky divination that accompanies uh, fortune tellers that seek familiar spirits it's not that it comes from God 
So, uh, just an example. Jesus discerned the Pharisees that found that followed him, um, that just followed him solely for the point of of finding fault in him, and also the woman that followed Paul and was proclaiming that that Paul was a servant. I think Silas also, um, maybe just Paul, but Paul and Silas around saying that they were servants of the Most High God, which is true, but it was the spirit behind her. What was she? Uh, what she was she like a, a diviner? Fortune teller. A fortune teller. So, and I think also that term, I think I heard a teaching on it, that term, most high God, was a, a term used to describe God that wasn't used to describe God during that time. So that kind of, maybe Paul discerned that also. I'm not sure if you guys have heard it let me know but I wanted to give a just a little little something about discerning of spirits and it being from God and um, and it helping us especially in these last days if you don't have discernment of spirits or you're a baby Christian and you haven't developed that gift or you don't have that gift ask God for it because he'll give it to you ask God at minimum 50 times let me know who is for me and who is against me and and him knowing exactly what I need gave me the gift of discernment I, I wasn't specifically asking for the gift of discernment but um that's what I got I wanted to know who was for me who was against me who was lying who was not who was true who was real who was false okay at that time this is years ago 10 years ago 11 years ago when I got this receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, okay? So, I will come back and talk with you later. I just want to do a little something on that and um, I will talk with you later, okay? You guys have a good night.